Hey, into picklers, we're going to do a point breakdown. We're going to focus in this one on critical skills development. We're going to be looking at a point in a match between Ted Meyer and Gary Miller on the other side in the in the white and the black, and Steve Butler and Jim Hoggett on the near court. Uh, it's a match that occurred pre-COVID in 2020, so it's kind of a rare thing uh, to find this kind of footage. But uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at this uh, at this point coming up in a minute here, and we're going to basically break it down. If you follow our videos, you know that we do a lot of point breakdowns, game analysis, and things like that. So this is uh, our bread and butter. But what I want to do is I want to actually help you learn how to acquire this skill. You may know all the rules of the game. You may know exactly you know, how a shot's supposed to be hit or, or how you're supposed to do something. But you know, knowing the rules is one thing. But being able to analyze a game and analyze a situation and know when the rules have either been broken or when the rules should have been applied differently is what really can step up your game. If you're interested in learning more about critical skills analysis in a small online setting that's interactive, uh, check out our Into Pickle Online Academy. I'll put a link above and below so that you can check that out and see if that'll work for you. Let's jump into the point that you're gonna be breaking down. What I'm gonna do is I'll run it for your regular speed here and then I'll run it in slow motion in a second. Focus on the play of Steve and Jim on this side of the court. Steve is in the blue shirt with the white cap and Jim is in the white shirt with the white cap. Break down their play, see what you think that they, they did well, what they could have done better, uh, and perhaps how the point was ultimately lost. Uh, what you want to do here is take your time and really analyze the point. Feel free to watch the point several times. We normally do that when we're doing a breakdown, take out a piece of paper, take some notes, and really get into the weeds on this point and figure out uh, what was done well and what could have been done better. Don't worry about necessarily coming up with the right answer. The most important thing is to work through the point and to learn how to better see the game. I'm going to leave you with a point. Good luck with the analysis. At the end of the day, having this critical analysis skill will really help you improve your game. You'll be able to see the game better, uh, and you'll be able to make adjustments both to your play and also uh, find uh, opportunities in your opponent's or weaknesses in your opponent's play that you can exploit and improve your performance.